Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. Today is another giveaway. We're going to be giving away speedrunners, and by we, I mean me. I'm going to be giving away one of the many free copies of speedrunners I have. I have two, I think, uh, so that's not many. But yes, I'm going to be giving away one today. And to give it away, it was gifted to me directly on Steam, so I have to know your Steam account, not just your YouTube account, to give that to you. Just keep that in mind. We're going to have to get in touch. I'll send you a YouTube message and uh, we'll get connected on Steam and I can give it to you that way. So that's how that's going to go down. And of course I'll say later in the episode how you can enter to win. But yes, it's going to just involve you putting a comment in the comments and I'll tell you what to comment on later. But first, last episode we unlocked the Warlord as we did the, uh, the first two of these challenges and guess what? I was wrong, this bronze challenge is automatically unlocked. I don't know why it said then that uh, I couldn't go ahead and play it. But I'm not going to do the bronze challenge yet. First, I want to do some stuff here. Maybe some second generation stuff. Nope. Maybe some unlikely hero stuff. Yes. With adventure cave and elf and all that. Uh, dimensional dealings. We're still trying to get this going on. I don't hold out a lot of hope. Um, because I'm not a thief and I don't have the extra money thing yet that you get from upgrading the thief's den. The black market gives more gold typically and that's how you would t how you would unlock that more reliably than what I've been doing. So yes, upgrading to the rogue and uh, using black market is how you would more easily get the dimensional dealings quest done. But we're not doing that. We're doing unlikely heroes with the warlord. Select and we're gonna unlock a new dungeon with this. So I have to be an elven warlord, which is actually fine, I guess. Um, I don't really feel like throwing in any preparations. The warlord does a significant amount of damage by himself, actually. And he starts with sidestep, which is a fantastic glyph. He has a very good, strong start. Now, this is gonna be the first time I've been using sidestep in a while. Let's explain what it does. Sidestep gives you death protection. Death protection means you can take a hit and not die. The end. There is no way to die as long as you have death protection on, as far as I know. Now, uh, used to be you had everyone except for the Warlord had to be at 100% health to cast Sidestep. Now it's 50%, which is good. I think that's a good buff to Sidestep because it costs so much. The Warlord can always cast Sidestep, which is even better though. So it's a mandatory precast before you go exploring. When you have the Warlord, you cast Sidestep first. And these Mana Potions are also extremely valuable. As you can see, I can't even kill this guy normally, but I can kill him because of Sidestep. Um, so hit, and that took me, to, he does nine damage, so that took me down to one health. Because of Sidestep, I can just hit him again, and I can cast Sidestep again right now to barely win that fight. Uh, it's not the 100% ideal way of doing things because sidestep takes so much exploration to use but I use so much exploration early that uh, it's okay all right and our damage and ooh wait what that is a fantastic combination being able to slow enemies is like having first strike and that's a free hit in addition to sidestep uh, troll heart I'm level one I will buy troll heart um, high health doesn't really help the Warlord as much as some other classes, but it's still a good thing. I think I'll just kill this guy with, yeah, exactly like I killed the other guy. So hit, hit, sidestep, kill. And I leveled up, which is fantastic. I can immediately cast sidestep again. And look at this guy, I can just kill him. Very nice. And I'll get my exploration going. Uh, one, two, three hits to kill this one. Mm, but he does 24 damage. So if I can get a health booster, I can take that guy down. So health does matter, I suppose. There's an attack booster. Now I'm looking for exactly that. Ooh, it would take one more health booster. That's 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 harder. It's a harder sell, needing two. I, I don't have any good enemies right now anyway, though. And I haven't cast sidestep before I explored. That was dumb. Uh, there's a mana booster, which is okay. Uh, some elixirs, which is okay. I need to find a good enemy. Pissorf. Um, you know, I'm an elf. May as well just use it right off. I'm not going to actually use Pissorf. 
Uh, I need to find a good enemy here. Or another health booster. That would be fantastic right now. Another health booster. Uh, actually, no, it does leave me barely alive. There's a level 3 enemy I could kill. What's down here? Something. Probably not a health booster, though. Uh, it'll be some free exploration later. I could level up right now. Um, or I could continue in search of something that would give me a little bit more health. Uh, hmm. Mana boosters abound. I do want the health booster. I really do. There it is! Okay. I did a lot of exploration for that. Please don't use magic. Please don't use magic. Please don't use magic. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What are we even doing here? This was a terrible idea. The Tower of Goo. I didn't expect to see the Tower of Goo here. But there he is. He is physical resist 75%. I'm glad I'm an elf. All right. I can kill this guy now. I can kill him pretty simply. One hit two hit then I can wait what him just like that for the final hit and the reason I wait what him instead of using sidestep again was because you know, it was already explored around him and wait what gives you one extra experience point because the enemy is slowed all right I'm gonna use sidestep now and where is a good enemy I'm level three how, how are you as far as damage Ooh, I can kill you um, I need to get my mana up, I think, before I do it. No, I don't, actually. I need to get it to 8. And I need to explore around you. Ooh, I can't quite explore around you. There, it's 10. So I can just kill you now. So hit, hit, sidestep, kill. Very nice. I'm level 4. Two level higher kills are the order of the day. Um, and I've got lots of health due to Troll Heart, which is actually working out better for me than I thought it would. This is not a prime target for me, but it's a possible target for me. And sometimes you need to go with the possible target. So two hits. Uh, meat men are probably the worst thing to fight as a warlord, to be honest. Uh, I don't even have my side stuff going. That's bad, bad juju. Okay, I'll do it like that. And then I can come back after this guy, get my two hits off, get one fireball going. How much damage is he actually doing? 21? I need to be above 21 health to fight him. Just like that. Hit. Fireball. He's got one left. Uh, he's got a burning stack on him. I can just kill this guy and he'll die. Perfect. Oh, I should cast sidestep before I do things like that. Alright, sidestep. Like, just now. Now. Perfect. Yay. What's in the shop? Pendant of health. Good item. Um, Not something I want right now. Alright, I'm back up to 10. I'm level 4. I've explored quite a lot, which is bad because I don't see a good target. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the level 8. That's level 9. No, these are not good targets. Um, see, I could hit this guy a lot of times. I could hit this guy 1, 2, 3 times right now, and that would take him down to half. That's pretty good. I could use mana potions and kill him off, but I don't want to use mana potions because I've got this goo problem. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to continue exploring and looking for a better target, I suppose. I'll kill that guy for sure at level 5, though. Level 7, Meat Man. Meat Men are, like I said, the worst possible targets. Um, there, there we go. Easy, easy kill. And, yeah, I do have to use up that. And then I can just wait what him and win. Perfect. Level 5 me can take this guy on with the exploration. So, I'm going to sidestep. Get my stuff rolling here. Just like that. Should I be at full before I try this? I can go 1, 2, 3 hits. Um, and I can use end as wall to get me some more hits, actually. Yes, most likely. So, end as wall there and there and uh, where else suppose I have to explore first biceps ooh uh, okay this is an idea forming in my head 47 hmm it's not going to be quite 52 is it 49. There's a pendant of health somewhere. 
I can purchase it. So we're going to get rid of Enda's Wall now. And we're going to purchase the Pendant of Health. And get to max health. And now look at it. Yes. Okay. We're very close to being able to kill this guy off. And he's three levels above us. This is probably worth it. Um, I use wait what? So I need eight mana before I do this. Bang. And I went to 14 anyway. So I can hit him. And biceps. Or, yeah, I, I could biceps now. Oh, I didn't pick up biceps. Well, let's get rid of the troll heart then. And pick up the biceps. And cast it. And now I can hit him again. And biceps one more time. And hit him again. Perfect. And I can sidestep and barely win. Bang. That was a that was a pretty difficult kill, I'll, I'll be honest. But I didn't use any potions, which is important, because this guy's gonna require all my potions. Um, level five. That didn't actually level me up. Three level higher kill that didn't level me up. Makes me a little bit sad. Let's uh let's go after I don't want to kill these meat men. All the level sevens are meat men. So I'm gonna go after this guy. And I can win, so I should definitely cast sidestep first, so I start next level with my death protection on. Um and then I can go after this guy and definitely kill him. Sidestep win. Yay. Now I need exploration. There's not a lot left, so I'm going to check this place out. Uh, that's a barbing bush. You fireball it. There's happiness and joy as a result. Uh, the bumper collection of deadly tricks by Troll the Annoying. Exploding signposts. Crap. Well, that sucked. A uh, compression seal, which is interesting. Um... What, what is this? The Schadenfreude Potion. Causes the next monster attack to restore mo one mana for every point of damage dealt. There is nothing better for the Warlord. Wow. That's really, really good. Uh, that means... I'll, I'll, I'll use that exactly properly later. I'll show you what that means. Uh, all these barbing bushes. Who's this? Yeah, barbing bush. Go. Alright. So what I can do with the Schadenfreude Potion is cast Sidestep. Which I should Why didn't I not cast Sidestep before completely exploring down here? Holy crap, I'm a dum dum. Um, I always forget to precast things. And I should cast Biceps as well. Just because. And there we go 13, 14, 15. Okay. So what Schadenfreude does is you. The next monster attack heals all your mana, as long as it does more damage than your mana does, which is a free hit from uh, from the Warlord here because of Sidestep. So how many fireballs is it going to take to kill you? More than I have at the moment, so I shouldn't be going after you at level 6. Uh, you take basically no damage from regular attacks. He's a bad enemy for me. I can kill you though, you're a good enemy for me. I can just hit you twice and Sidestep and win. Very nice. Okay, and I'll grab up this mana potion because it's useful. And there. Fireballs. Mm, I can probably take him on now. Uh, yeah, I can take this guy on now. So what I want to do is convert everything I can to make my mana potions as valuable as possible. I'm not going to be using biceps against him. So 18. That's actually good, because that's three fireballs. There's 19. That's three fireballs immediately. Now I just got to get close to leveling. I could use harder targets for that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use easy targets, because oh, I don't want to mana burn me at all. I'm going to do some exploring, so I may as well fireball this guy and win it that way. I can kill that, and that, and that, and I can kill that. We're at 35, 30. This guy does a little bit of damage. There we go. All right, so I'm very close to being able to level now. In fact, this would do it. Or there we go. Now anything I kill will do it. And we're going to be using mana potions for this. So how I'm going to kill this guy, go over here, fireball, 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 and then kill, level up. 
fireball, fireball, fireball. Mana potion, mana potion. Fireball, fireball. Mana potion, mana potion. Fireball, fireball. So I didn't use the shade, toy potion. I, I got specialist though. That's nice. I uh, killed him entirely with fireballs. Which is a fun thing to do. As a warlord, especially because it doesn't make any sense for any of your class abilities. Uh, I'm level 8 now. Mm, no, nah, let's just leave. Exit. We got a gooey mass. All this stuff was done. 412 gold. We got specialist. It's a new badge. And continue. Uh, complete unlikely heroes. A new dungeon was unlocked, which we might want to check out. And we've got economic saturation. As yet another hero holds yet another terrifying monster trophy aloft in the town square, the kingdom's loyal taxiderm sidles up to you. Noble kingdom administrator. The monster head trade is still going as powerfully as ever, but we've hit a maximum of sorts. I don't think we'll be able to push prices any higher, but we'll still get a hearty bonus from new book trophy types. New trophy sold. Yay. Okay. So we can't push prices higher. Everything's 300 anyway. That's fine. Lots of gold for selling out, and quest unlocked, Halfling's Ho. Among their other frequent complaints, Halflings often bemoan the fact that nobody takes them seriously. Even when they prove capable of bending reality itself, a group of squat magicians believes it's time to change public perception. Defeat Grimm's Grotto with all three mage classes. This only counts for used Halflings. Grimm's Grotto. There's Desert Rose. Swamp Romp. Southern Swamp. Grim's Grotto. Gr oh, my first hard dungeon. Uh, do I want to show off a hard dungeon yet? Certainly not. I, I don't really feel like doing Grim's Grotto right now. So let's look at the quest that's on it. Uh, I could go in there with a halfling wizard just to show what a uh, what Grim's Grotto is like. The Grotto is a place where slightly se more seasoned adventurers tend to mess around with swords and sorcery. It's absolutely infested with all sorts of nasty nasties which seems to be a fair bit tougher than average dungeon monsters. Um, if I recall correctly, Grimm's Grotto, along with another dungeon called the Double Doom, are kind of like baby's first hard dungeons. They, they're they hard, but they don't have like the huge special things that a lot of the hard dungeons have. Uh, the Witchelock Pendant's actually fantastic. So I might want to go to Grimm's Grotto now, since I, you know all this stuff is... Uh, two runs and I would rather just do one run in Grimm's Grotto right now with a halfling wizard kind of show it off so we're gonna do this use the backpack your last adventure brought items out with him oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whoops oh goodness play what happened there I did not mean to oh I hit the X okay um, hmm, cancel and click that and this is the backpack so we could drag lockerable items and replace that so we don't have to yeah that's fine so uh... right halfling so we're gonna at least start on this quest we're not gonna finish it today or anytime soon likely because we need to be going on jungle beat and deep freeze and swamp romp and desert rose soon but halflings wizards and we'll start down the line of this quest so Grimm's Grotto, Halfling, so... Okay. First hard dungeon on this series. I'm nervous. I better not lose. In fact, we're going to start with the Pendant of Health and a sword. Because I can. And let's play. Okay. Now, thing is, I'm a Halfling Wizard. That's not a good thing. Halflings suck at being wizards. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they don't have any advantage for it, and they have huge amounts of health. What's a wizard going to do with a huge amount of health? Uh, I can probably start fighting this guy right now, right now. Which is fine. I don't know if it'll be a success, but it probably will be. Let's grab that Let Me See. Grab that Want to Fight. Uh, one more exploration. Yeah, it'll. this will eventually be a success. In fact, right now it'll be a success. Which is fine. A very early kill, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, and I've got one a fight, which I can start spamming. So summoning things up, always fun. And we can pick up biceps, and we've got our... This is a nice start. This is a nice start. 
I will say that. Uh, nothing else I can say about it yet. I am still nervous. It's been a while. Like, I was playing Vicious Dungeon all this stuff a little while ago, but it's been, uh, there were like a three week period where I didn't play at all. So I'm nervous. Oh, Sidestep has been unlocked for other people as well. Probably not going to use it very much. Alright. And there we go. And I'm going to pick up Sidestep and continue on my way. Now I'll cast it. And then I'm going to continue my uh, my little rampage of casting Wanna Fight over and over again. And summoning up the baddest of baddies that I can find. Where's a good place to cast it? Right here seems okay. And I need to head over this way to get my last glyph and figure out what glyphs I want to keep. Now, there seems to be so many enemies. There we go. That's probably the last of the level 1s. I don't see any level 2s hanging out. So, And there's Wait What, which I'll pick up. Uh, what of these do I want to keep? Now, wizards have a special ability where... If you use their, uh, if you convert other things while you hold the glyphs, then their conversion points like leech off to it. So if you grab up all the glyphs first and then just kind of decide, like, I'm not going to be using sidestep much, they're all going to lend sidestep like 10 extra conversion points each, so he gets a ton of extra conversion out of sidestep, which is great. Like, I'm not going to use biceps much or at all, really. So that's going to give me a huge amount of conversion. And this is all just going to translate into a ton of like health potions. I'm not going to use Let Me See at all. And as you can see, my health potions are skyrocketing. I'm not done with Wanna Fight, though. I'm going to keep using that. And I'm not done with Burned Raz. And I'm going to keep Wait What as well. Because that's a good glyph to have. Uh, there's a level 3 that I can't really go after. I can kill this guy, but it would use up my death protection. Um, no, it wouldn't. I'm going to put him right here. Oops. Oh, there was another one of these. And I just blocked my path with him, which was dumb. Alright, so I'll go right here. And switch places like that. And I can check out who my boss is going to be. Life, warmth, envy, resentment, anger, hate, hate, hate. Regards, the tormented one. Awesome. Uh, this guy is physical resistant. Uh, it makes the wizard a good target for him, but still, I don't like this as a boss. Okay, so let's kill our man here. We can do it right now. One hit, two hit, then quick wait what, that's why we kept it, for the win. Very nice. Now we're level two, and we can look at our level three opponents. Um, hmm, actually, this guy's a bit tough. I think I can kill him, though. I have to explore around this way because I'm a big dummy. There we go. And sh I should be casting one of five, but there's not a good place to put people. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and kill this since I'm here. So I can hit him once, fireball him once, and then one of him for that last hit. Very nice. And it puts me at level three, which is also very nice. I uh, don't see any level 4 enemies hanging out, no level 5 enemies either, so I'm going to start summoning again. Just like this. And right there, I can put a, all the level 3's around, which is fine. A uh, good place to summon is here. Kind of want to keep people in a, a bit of a checkerboard fashion, so that they don't block you off. Just be careful where you summon enemies, basically. Okay, level 2's are coming out of the woodwork. And there's level 4. Ah, he's a bit tough, though. You might not seem it, but he is a bit tough. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to fireball him a couple times. That'll slow down his regeneration a bit as I explore up. And hit him again. Fireball him. And having that one death protection just kind of on you is a great misclick savior. But it's also just useful overall for the boss fight. So you don't want to lose it fighting these guys as you're just trying to level up. So I'm looking for a level 5 or another level 4. Um, <coughs> honestly, this guy might be an okay target. Uh, let's try him anyway. Pendant of Mana, that's actually really useful because that's another fireball. 
So I can hit this guy once and then fireball him three times. Which is good. I can work my fireballs back up and hit him again. Fireball him again. That's the problem. Gooblobs are never fun to fight. So I'm probably going to stop there and I'll just kill the guy sitting next to him much more easily. Yeah, I can just fireball this guy down very nicely. Okay, so... Huh, I would like to get a two level higher kill at some point. Or a three level higher kill would be even better. Buy the fine sword. It's almost an auto buy. Tower shield, no. And we'll go here. Alright. Meat man. What I'm going to do, because I am kind of close to leveling up, is I'm going to hit this meat man. And I'm going to fireball him three times. To at least work him down a bit. And in fact, I might explore just enough to hit him again. How much damage does he do? 29. So if I go here, it's 23, 26, 29, and 32. So I can get one more hit off of him. Like so. Then I'll kill this guy to level up. Well, okay, two guys. Level up. And I'll do the same thing. I hit him twice and fireball him down. And uh, I could barely win now, but I just need to explore a bit. 32, hit, fireball, win. So that was at least a two level higher kill, which is what you want to typically go for. Uh, three level higher kills are great, but there's sometimes a drain on resources. There is one over there that might be possible. I do have pretty high mana. This guy, he does 78 damage. But how much fireballs do? Eh, I can't get a hit off on him, unfortunately. Let's see, I'll kill these meat men. They're not the best targets. I don't like fighting meat men with this character, but, uh, or at all, really. They're some of my least favorite kills. They're meant for region fighting like I'm doing, though. There we go. But they always take up a lot of space to kill. A lot of resources. All right, and where's the other level five meat man? He's right here. Ah, he'll level me, so that's fine. Get my fireballs off and go down this way and I believe that this is actually the only hard dungeon with a single boss by the way later you expect all your hard dungeons to have many many bosses just keep that in mind I should be wait wetting instead of fireballing for the last hit on enemies just to uh, kind of expedite me gaining a little bit more experience so I can go after this level 6 very easily I could... maybe there's a level 7? He still does too much damage, unfortunately. And I even have a Pendant of Health. That's pretty crazy. So... Yeah, I'll go after the level 6. Could go after the level 7 Meat Man, I guess. Nah. I'm gonna hit this guy once. Fireball him once. Wait, what him. And kill him. Very nice. Okay. Pick up the health potion. You know, I have seven. <laughs> that's the thing about halflings. I guess that's one good thing about being a wizard halfling. You get so many conversion points. Uh, and you still get to keep your glyphs. And halflings get a lot of benefit from their conversions. Health potion's good. Uh, switch places with that guy just so I can explore over here. It's kind of a silly thing to do, I suppose. Alright, level five me wants to kill something, but he hasn't decided what yet. I uh, don't see any level 6s. These level 7s are out of my league at the moment. How much are my fireballs doing? Not enough. Uh, still, I guess I'd go after the Zombro. And how much damage do you do, my friend? 46. I can get about 46 pretty quickly. And I can hit you again. Get another fireball going. Get about 46 again. I should probably check out that downstairs pretty soon. Hit, get my last fireballs off, and there we go. You are a dead dude. Now what's down here? Uh, Gooblob, that's another health potion actually. And it's a lot of exploration as well, which is what I wanted. Hmm. You are primarily going to be a fireball kill. I need to keep that in mind. Let's see. 
Not a lot of good targets. I need to level up once, and then I can start hitting these guys. I'll just I'll just force a level up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fireball this guy three times. Then I'm going to kill this. Which puts me at level six, and then I can hit this guy and fireball him once, and save a bit of exploration, hopefully. Uh, badge of Honor, good item. Not going to be able to afford it at the moment. More health potions. All right, exploration pretty much gone, and I'm level six. That never bodes well. 88. I'm gonna hit this guy and fireball him once for the kill. Oh, guess not. Uh, ooh, this is not good. I thought he would die. Hmm, I am in a precarious situation here. But he is fireballed, so is there any exploration down here? Not enough. Okay. I am I am getting slightly concerned. I'm going to have to use a mono potion here, which is a scary thought, considering that I want a mono potion to win that guy. You are pain, my friend. I could use my death protection. That's what I think I'll do here. I'm going to use my death protection to finish this guy off. And now I need to start looking at leveling up easily. Uh, like this. And that would level me. So maybe I should go after my boss now. I can't even see how much the fireballs do. No, I need to level. Okay. How much are my fireballs doing? Ooh. And I cannot take a hit. Do I have to be at level 8 to fight him? This is not the best. This level 9 is about my only hope here. If I kill him, I should be able to level again. So I'm going to fireball him three times. Wraiths are the, about the only enemies you can do that with and get away with it. And how do I want to approach this tower shield? It's not going to help me. Badge of Honor is not around. Hmm, I have to kill this guy. I guess I'm going to have to use a mana potion to do it. Uh, no, a uh, health potion to do it. I'm going to hit him. And he does 88 damage. It would take two health potions or one mana potion to finish him off. I suppose I'll go with the mana potion. It doesn't make me happy though. Fireball. Alright. So, hopefully that was enough that these guys are going to be able to level me. And win. And let's see, hit that guy. 28. 30. Oh, this is going to be close. Okay, it, it is enough. 34. Very good. Whew. Okay. So how am I going to do this? First, I'm going to get rid of wait what? And then I'm going to get rid of want to fight. And that's giving me a huge number of health potions. Now I'm going to use a fireball here to get at least one off. Then I'm going to level up, which makes it so that at full health I can hit this guy. I'm going to use my three fireballs up. And my health potions, I mean my mana potions. Got to use those up. Very nice. And now I can start hitting him. And I have so many mo health potions that I should be able to beat him off their backs. And that's the value of being a halfling. Whew. It was actually fairly close. I had four health potions left, but it's still kind of close. Uh, Grim's Grotto. Tough place, actually, sometimes. Uh, Alright, I'm going to grab this Wraith Cow and run out. Event log, yes. Gold gain, 408. I got cheeky, but that was the only badge I managed. And we'll continue here. Trophy sold, Wraith Cow. Very nice. Alright, guys. Uh, Grim's Grotto. Tough place. But uh, I, I'll get that Witch Lock pendant eventually. Eventually, I need to start doing these four directions dungeons because that's how you really progress in the game. It's how you open everything up. But for now, thanks for watching.